let's understand the rules of Yetana, the looms of Kanchi. These are the components. A board of a 5x5 matrix of octagons, 36 different design cards, 36 action cards of 12 different types, tokens, 30 cylinders of 5 colors with 6 in each color, 18 number tiles, 2 dice, 1 standard, 1 with colors, 4 player pins, and 1 rule book. Now let's quickly set up the board for a 2 player game. Set aside 2 different number tiles chosen randomly. Place the remaining 16 randomly on the squares between the octagons. Set aside 5 yarns, one of each colour. Now, place the remaining 25 yarns at the centre of the octagons. Each player then rolls the number die to determine the starting position. The game starts with the player who rolled the highest number on the die. In case of a tie amongst the players, they roll again. Starting from the player who rolled the highest number, all players get a design card, action card and two tokens. Now let's go check out the gameplay. There are four key aspects during a turn. Roll the dice, gain tokens or action card, exchange a design card and perform actions. A turn always starts with the player rolling the dice. As yellow is rolled, Check the number of yarns matching yellow on the roll die next to each player's pin. Accordingly, each player gains one token per matching yarn. Orange gains one token and black gains no tokens. The player may exchange a design card at this point with the stack, after which the player's turn ends. No more actions can be further performed. If a player has not exchanged, then the player may perform one or more of the following actions. A move is mandatory and must be performed during the turn. The player pin may be moved to an unoccupied number tile matching the number rolled or move as many steps. After the move, the player can optionally perform a free swap of any two yarns adjacent to the player's new position on the board. The free swap, however, is allowed only if it is the next action immediately after the move. Other actions may be performed based on tokens and action cards available with the player. Pay two tokens to get an action card from the stack. Pay 3 tokens to swap positions of any 2 yarns on the board. Pay 3 tokens to get a design card from the stack. Play 1 or more action cards in hand. Claim a completed design. The design can be located anywhere on the board and can be claimed using any color combination provided the pattern logic matches. This design card is worth one victory point. The pattern should consist of five yarns along the diagonal direction with the center yarn of one color 
the other four yarns of a second color. The player has moved and swapped as a first step. Then the player uses a swap action card to swap positions of the yellow and the blue yarns. Now the player claims the design. When claiming a design, other players shall validate the completed design. Once validated, the player keeps the claim design card face up in front. The player is out of actions and the turn ends. The next player then rolls the dice. When black is rolled, then the player gains an action card. The game ends with the first player completing 8 victory points or anas. Let's understand the different action cards. Move. This card allows the player to move to any unoccupied square on the board. The player can also move to a square on the outer edge of the board. This card replaces the normal move based on the die rolled. Swap This card allows the player to swap any two random yarns on the board. Steal action card. This card allows the player to steal an action card randomly from an opponent player. A victory point card kept face up cannot be stolen. Steal tokens. This card allows the player to steal a maximum of two tokens from an opponent player. Replace. This card allows the player to replace a yarn on the board with one of the five yarns in the reserve or an unoccupied number tile with one of the two tiles in the reserve. Either a yarn or a number can be replaced, but not both. Preset This card allows the player to preset the color of the die before the turn. Now only the number die will be rolled. Get a design card. This card allows the player to get a design card from the stack. Get three tokens. This card allows the player to gain three tokens from the reserve. Gain tokens. This card allows the player to gain a certain number of tokens based on the die roll. The player then calls out a number between 1 and 6, then rolls the number die. Say 2 in this case. If the number rolled is equal or higher than the number called out, then the player gains 2 tokens. If the number rolled is lower than 2, the player does not gain any token. Victory point. The player gains one victory point. This card must be revealed immediately. The player must keep this card face up. Roll again. This card allows the player to roll both the dice again. This card must be used before any tokens are gained and any other action is performed during the turn. The preset card cannot be played with the roll again card. 
tax. This card allows the player to levy a tax of one token on, on all the opponent players. The opponents must pay one token to the reserve.